And just a final couple. I, I know you talked about your future in March. I'm assuming you're not about to tell me what you're going to do. <laughs> so a question I have on this is, do you see yourself in management next season in some capacity? I guess another way of asking that is, do you think you'll need a break from this if you do walk away? Or could you see yourself diving straight back in somewhere else? I, I, I don't have any vision of what next year will look like because everything for me depends on this summer um, everything geared towards how do we win this tournament we're clearly one of the teams that can win it there's big expectation which is completely understandable given what we've done over the last five six years and um, so we're you know very comfortable with that expectation it's brilliant that our supporters are excited about the team um, but it's pointless me looking beyond that really pointless but as an American broadcaster can I ask you about 2026 and what that mm -hmm. I mean the, just the appeal of that it must tempt mm -hmm. you that that kind of tournament 48 team World Cup three big countries oh, I, th I think 26 will be an amazing World Cup um, I mean I'm young enough or old enough rather to remember 94 I didn't go um, and obviously England didn't qualify but um, you could you know that any sporting event that USA are involved in hosting and, and clearly Mexico 86 I also remember and um, you know that will be an amazing tournament which will be a different sort of challenge to you know if you think about the travel and the time zones compared to the last World Cup it, it couldn't be more different uh, temperature changes and altitude and everything else that you could face so yeah that will also be an amazing tournament. Tempt you to stay on? Well that that will depend on playing well, getting results, um, wanting to stay, um, yeah, any number of things would be wrapped up in that. But yeah, that's, that's for after this summer, really. And final question. I, normally you wouldn't share your internal targets, but I'm guessing it's fair to say the target this time is, is to win the tournament. Mm. Should, uh, do you feel that the players are ready to embrace the responsibility of that, the aspiration of that? Mm. Um, uh, you know, rather than fear the size of the challenge. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was the that was the target um, for the last Euros. We we were so close. That was the target in Qatar because once you've got as close as we did in the Euros, then um, then that has to be. You you can't talk to the players about anything less than that. They they wouldn't be excited. They'd wonder what you were thinking. I think the belief is there. The results over a period of time are there. That doesn't mean. We're the only team going there with that belief and with with good players and uh, a good team. Um, but for us, that has to be our aim. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks, good luck. Jeff. Thank you.